So Derrick Henry is human after all. This giant of a man, unfortunately we found news today that he has what's called a Jones fracture, which is a fracture on the outside bone of the foot and unfortunately he's gonna be undergoing an operation or surgery. I'm Dr. David Abbasi, I'm an orthopedic sports medicine surgeon. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, but let, first let's talk about Derrick Henry. So I wanted to talk to you guys as an orthopedic surgeon and explain to you what's gonna happen in this operation and what to expect from Derrick Henry going forward. So we saw him get tackled and his foot must have gotten rolled underneath him and the outside bone called the fifth metatarsal is a bone that doesn't have a great blood supply. So if it gets fractured in a certain position, unfortunately, sometimes that bone can have trouble healing and we have gone to the operating room and take uh, professional athletes especially to surgery to try to help that healing process. So what most likely Derrick Henry is gonna be receiving is what's called an intramedullary screw or a screw placed on the inside part of the fifth metatarsal. If we look at this animation, this is most likely the surgical procedure is gonna be undergoing. So as orthopedic surgeons, we get the patient on the operating room table. We make sure that the bone is well aligned and then what we will do with a very minimally invasive approach is shoot a guide wire on the proximal aspect of the fifth metatarsal and try to get it on the center portion of the bone on AP and lateral views. So in all dimensions, we wanna make sure that that pin is going through the direct center of that bone. Once that pin is held in place by the bone, we'll then take a drill that is cannulated so it can slide over the top of the pin and then we open a space for later placement of a intramedullary screw. So this would be almost like a rod or a screw on the inside portion of the bone. So that's gonna be holding that inside part of the bone rigid. And so the trouble with these Jones fractures without rigid fixation is sometimes that micro motion can prevent healing. And the reason this bone as opposed to other bones when fractured sometimes will require surgeries because it has a very poor blood supply. The fifth metatarsal does not have a great blood supply in the area of a Jones fracture. So although it could be relatively lined up when it has that micro motion, with, when you add that to the poor blood supply, it unfortunately sometimes will not heal. So we'll be very aggressive, especially with our professional athletes to proceed to surgery because we know it's a more reliable way to get them to heal quicker. So in terms of our timeline and recovery, you know, you've been, you're probably gonna see the uh, terms of somewhere between six or, or eight weeks in terms of a, of a return for Derrick Henry. Obviously, the longer the timeline, the more that the body will have a chance to heal after this injury. And shorter the timeline, obviously, the more risk that the bone will not be completely healed before letting him return to play. So before we return, allow a professional athlete to return to play, we would want him to be asymptomatic, which means he would have no pain over that foot and undoubtedly he's gonna be getting follow-up x-rays and CT scans to show that there's actually bony callus and bony healing at the location of this, this Jones fracture. So I hope you guys enjoy this explanation and the surgical technique brought to you by Arthrex. Um, if you guys enjoy videos like this, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, check out some of the other videos that we've done and until then, we'll see you guys here next time.